Hey, get back to here. So big news on the sports game front. This with our brothers and sisters over on the soccer football side of it. FIFA is ending its long-standing exclusive partnership with EA Sport. A, or EA Sports. A statement reads. FIFA is bullish and excited about the future of gaming and esports for football, and it's clear that it needs the space that is occupied by more than one party controlling all the rights. Now, if you guys paid attention to this space, you saw over the last few days, I'm guessing from the EA side of it, that FIFA was asking for a billion dollars over four years for their naming rights. And obviously, this was all like, maybe the billion dollars is like making us an offer we can't refuse. I mean, FIFA as an organization is probably the worst one and like as a governing body in all of sports, worse than NCAA, worse of whatever, just, just based off their history. And we don't have to go into that. Let's just focus on this deal right here so in the end it's like they're, they're talking about you know we want to open it up and maybe that was that was their point of like all right we'll continue negotiations you got to blow us away maybe their, their thought for process for the game was to open up because maybe they saw the backlash online of what the nfl got re-signing with ea you know over last year now we have till 2026 i'll talk about that in a second so Maybe they kind of saw that and they, they want to get more competition out there because as consumers, competition is what's best for us. And, and, and I mean, it's almost like it's very hard to like outside of like, you know, necessities, right? Like we saw what Enron did with power and then that's like getting into some wild stuff. Competition is generally great, right? For the consumer. NFL and football games, you know, American football games were best back when ESPN and, and 2K, that license was there. They're selling it for $20 and Madden had to, you know, match and slash and make their game better. And the man's like, wait, why do that? We could just secure the exclusive rights. So ideally in, in a, in a uh, great world, like this gets through to Goodell and Goodell's like, wow, okay. I see that they're not ex like FIFA, the, you know, the bigger video game isn't signing with it. You know, NHL is not exclusive. I'm not sure about NBA rights. I know, I don't think it's exclusive at all because EA tried an NBA game and they got blown out the water by 2K because of how bad live was. I mean, I hated live because it basically took Madden's money and, and then funded another studio that made a crap product. Um, so that's that right ea has not gone head to head with 2k in a while in sports and uh when they have they've gotten their uh, doors blown off but let's not get ahead of ourselves 2k's basketball games got major flaws and i don't love it myself i didn't pick it up this year last year and kind of drove me enough away from the series i'm playing fifa this year and actually enjoying my time playing the game building the squad that kind of stuff but what does this mean for madden okay the 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 tides around exclusive relationships and video games might be shifting towards hey maybe we should have more developers because why why take money from one when you can take money from multiples maybe at like you know 80 percent of the rate that you got before and you know for fifa that maybe means more money for the consumer means more competition it, the only person that really doesn't do well here are ea shareholders right and those people yeah go fuck yourself okay like uh, i i i hate that uh, EA's basically gotten rich off of just having the exclusive license. And it, you know what? Good. Hopefully that time comes for the NFL. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't know if there's an out clause. And I, I, I don't think Goodell would, you know, basically, you know, exercise it. But we got another five years probably. And then we just got to make a ruckus before they re-sign it again. Uh, we had like, like I don't know, a couple weeks lead up to this last one. And, and not enough online uh, momentum got going quick enough. It happened until, it didn't happen until after uh, it, it, like, uh, it got signed, right? The EA drop, or sorry, NFL drop EA movement on Twitter. But there you go. FIFA and EA, the heartbreak is, is there for them. Hopefully the heartbreak between the NFL and EA. But I know NFL, you know, it's not just the NFL. It's the NFL's player association that also has the exclusive rights with EA. So both of those things would have to break in order for us to get, you know, 2K back in the uh, uh, football game-making uh, business. So, Let's go over our lineup. Uh, there's one other thing I want to talk about here. Most feared part two. You guys probably saw these leaks. And I'll talk about most feared part two here going forward. I, I, I Thanks for uh, show her off 98 for post this. But like some players he noticed. Now, now a lot of people know Joel Batonio's card art in the game shows most feared. So like he's basically coming, right? Here's other ones that he noticed that were uh, featured in solo battles. Uh, that's where I don't play solo battles, so I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments who else you guys saw besides for like guys like DeAndre Hopkins. Hopkins is the most feared like stalwart, right? Like he's he's been here quite a bit. Herbert, I guess I guess yeah, he's, he's pretty feared too. I'm just disappointed it's not a strong arm this year. Um, you know, perfect promo for the, the Grave Digger. Yes, I agree with that one. GJM, but overall. 
um most feared part two we'll talk about more and how the market affects of that tonight on market monday i kind of want to go in my lineup i'm kind of like you guys can help me decide i'm my wide receivers I'm, I'm i'm in between like so i got as you know a half Steelers, half raiders theme team because you don't have at least half raiders i don't know if you're like really caring that much about much? no I, it's it's kind of a necessity with how many insane players are playing for the raiders but I, I i was thinking like andre johnson chase claypool's got 95 speed on my squad andre's got 94 should i keep will fuller in there with 96 speed that he'll have uh, i don't have the theme team for him um jerry rice is obviously gonna be playing because you know he's a stud coated stud with stud filling andre rise in here just getting like i think he's getting pushed out right now so i'll probably end up ha having him hit the block for me pretty soon but it's between will fuller chase claypool and andre johnson for my you know two two of those three will stay one's got to go you guys let me know and, and remember you know steelers theme team chase claypool really helps us out quite a bit but otherwise derrick henry I, I pass the ball more i don't run them but dude if you go against a person running like i form wing with henry stretch dive it's as bad as 20 man I, it's so hard to stop the run of this game and i feel like people are just learning that and you know i saw some people do that quite a bit when they had those like online objectives for the run i'm like oh no this is miserable uh, but man i tried going 4-4 four, four. i tried i tried so many different heavy run stopping formations and when i went to that they just scored like 80 yard touchdowns i go like all i know is three three five wide right now uh man coverage spot here safeties and hopefully they can fill in good enough or put your safeties in like a, a flat over to the right side of the field the way they're running most feared kelsey i have him here because he's morphed you guys probably saw that gameplay over if you didn't see the morphed kelsey gameplay it's sick it's stupid i haven't heard anything about them changing the morphs ronnie lott's great camp chancellor so they're gonna be staying on the squad ed reed uh my defense i don't really have that many choices about it i don't have a lot of things i gotta uh, think of on it at the moment jj watts probably gonna be filtering out of the lineup soon i might wait a few days maybe his limited goes up in price i don't know how much they will i'm sure some people like bought a bunch for investment um and, and so on but so we'll see if he goes up i don't think jj watts the type of card that will go up uh, but here is the overall squad at the moment chin is in there for usering i might actually now that i think about it we might actually need to do something here with um this jesse bates i really like this jesse bates card i might take away the steelers joe hayden for the chemistry and just throw jesse bates uh in the lineup but, like i don't know where to play him i've already got seven dbs out there um on the field for me so does bates is bates the odd one out um i, I don't think i don't know if Ta i don't think tatum touches the field for me he doesn't have an ability so i don't think he does um so maybe i'll put in bates over chin uh for like a, a user or a cpu and maybe a user um somebody else going forward i don't know i don't know i don't know i really don't know a lot of good decisions i love this kind of team building there's a lot of good decisions so there's the team right now i'm still in the same um formations you guys saw me put the ebooks out on that so nick uh, new england offense bears defense um, I'm still trying right there. Um, we got the, you know, the the punter for the Steelers. Uh, we got the Tucker there. So there you go. There's there's the overall squad at the moment. Yeah, I think JJ is too slow, and I think he's got to go. So I'll put, maybe put KGB back there. Um, I still have Miles Garrett, so maybe Miles Garrett will just slot back in. Um, but he's like a million coins, so he's kind of expensive. But like, man, he did a lot of damage for me, so it's hard to let him go. All right, that's what I want to talk about today on this video. We'll do more market aspects, most feared part two coming uh, tonight. And that's probably coming on Friday. We'll know more, obviously, tomorrow on, on GMM, and I'll cover that when that news breaks. But let me know what you guys thought about uh, the FIFA breakup, everything, most feared part two, who you hoping for, all that stuff in the comments. Please like, please subscribe. We're going for 100K this year. I don't know if we're going to make it. I don't know. I don't know. I hope so. By the Super Bowl. But... Either way, we're all going to make it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.